Hello there, class. Here we are in Minecraft. I'm using the Zywaker Texture Pack. It's a beautiful one. I really like it. I've been using it lately in my single-player game here at my nice little glass abode. But I've gotten bored with this world. It's not a very exciting world. I'm extremely well set up in it. I have a ton of materials and resources. Everything is well created. I have a series of bases all around the area. But at the end of the day, it's just not a very interesting place. Let's get going. Now you may be asking yourselves, why am I creating a new world in Minecraft? Well, I'm creating a new world in Minecraft for a number of reasons. First among them, what's going on over here? First among them is that, as I said, I was bored with the world that I already had. I had dealt with it for long enough, didn't have any neat, goodness, squid party, any neat geological formations. This is looking to be more of the same. Didn't have much excitement to it. The caves weren't that great. All those things that you see when you begin a game and have played it for too long and become bored and disappointed with it. Now, this isn't looking very interesting either. So there's a lake there, I guess. That's fairly nice. And a flower. How lovely. So, I'm just hoping to see something new and interesting. Um, if you've been watching the Dragon Age Origins videos recently, uh, you'll notice, oh, snow. And I've been having a little more fun with them. And, uh, you know, I essentially realized that I was getting frustrated at a video game. Which is incredibly pointless. And will only lead to unneeded angst and upsetness, if you will, even though I know that's not a word. And uh, I just decided, you know what, even if the fade is the worst thing ever, may as well just have fun with it, you know? I'm not going to jump down there, that's ice. Oh, <coughs> guess I'm not going to have a choice whether or not I jump down there. This is kind of neat formation. So yeah, I just figured, you know, if it's going to be ridiculous, just go with it. Also, my uh, my tongue stopped bleeding. I got it under control after I finished recording, as I said I would. So in case you were worried, uh, don't be. I am just fine. So, I mean, this is sort of a, a nod to new beginnings. To things starting out anew. I've got it at work. I'm able to pay my bills for the first time in a long time. I'm on my way to having an income that will allow me to possibly pay off my student loans in my lifetime and not pass those on to my children, who are as yet theoretical. So things are looking up, you know? Alright, I'm bored with this place. That's kind of neat, but not neat enough. If you're not satisfied with what you've got in life, do something about it. Change it. That's what I always say, and that's what I always feel. I think you should feel the same. What's going on here? Got some ice there. Oh, squid. Actual trees near the spawn, which is a nice change. Oh, a little tide pool. That's cool. Could Novus 3 be the one? Maybe if we find something interesting over the horizon. Is that a cave? No, oh, it's an underpass. I always like an underpass. Hmm, that's a neat looking cave. Yeah, I don't have a lot of sympathy for people who can change their lives and choose not to, and choose instead to complain about them. A lot of people genuinely have terrible lives, and I'm not going to argue that, because that's just a fact of the matter. And some people can't do anything to change their lives because, you know, maybe they live in a war zone or something like that. Maybe they're 
uh, victims of uh, slavery and they're slaves. And you can't really change your life if you're a slave. But for the most part, um, I think it's it's a fairly self-evident truth that if you don't like what's going on in your life, change it. I wasn't happy with my life this time two years ago because I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And it took me some time to decide that, well, not to decide, but more to discover that my calling lay elsewhere than I thought it did. It was not just living in a world... That's nice. I like this. Third time's the charm. It was not simply living in a world where I could be content. I, I was not the kind of person who could be content with uh, a mediocre existence. And so I set out to change it. I moved across the country. I went to school to learn the skills that I wanted for the career that I wanted. And now here I am. I've changed everything. The economy sucks, but I've managed to get work somehow. And I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm proud of what I've accomplished. Started a YouTube channel that people seem to enjoy, which I think is uh, also really nice. I'm glad that you... Oh, <laughs> made an achievement. If I haven't said it enough, and, you know, maybe you're sick of me saying it, thank you for watching and sharing this uh, this time with me. I appreciate it. And, yeah. So I was just uh, wanted to share those thoughts with you. The idea that uh, you don't have to be content with mediocrity. You don't have to accept that life is one way and uh, will always be that one way. Oh, the music is coming in in a dramatically appropriate time. How lovely. Do, 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 do. Time to strike. Alright, let's get down here. I see some coal. Smack away at that coal. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's what you get, right? Life is never quite what you'd expect it to be. Sometimes you think you're stepping on solid ground and you'll... And you'll land... Oh my. You think you're stepping on solid ground, but you land in a hole. Nothing will ever be the same. But you don't need to fear change. Change is the way that we are. Change is part of why our existence is meaningful. It's part of why humans exist and thrive. Without change, what are we? We're stagnant. And nobody stagnant has ever survived or thrived in our world. Empires that decide that they have reached the height of their power and that they needn't change in any way, and they needn't alter their existence fall, crumble, become nothing. If there's anything you've learned from the True and Accurate History series, I hope that's part of it. Change is a necessary part of life. Not just for individuals, but for nations, for cultures, for everyone. No one should ever be satisfied with a static life. And I hope that you never will be. Nope, oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Down here. This time, let's make a torch before we go in there, eh? We've got some coal, so we can make some, of course. I wonder if I'll be able to get my items, or if we're stuck the way we are right now. <laughs> so yeah, there's a hole right there. make myself a new pick. I don't think we'll be able to get down there otherwise. But that's part of the adventure of living a new life, you know? Expectations exist not to allow 
Stagnance not to allow predictability in our lives, but what's that? And probably safer to wait until we've made up ourselves a, a rock before we try and make that. Let's grab a little more coal before we try and head down into the depths. Just to be safe on the safe side. Because even though life has changed, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be prepared for life. I always say, better safe than sorry, and that's not a cowardly attitude. That's simply a realistic one. Life is going to throw you curveballs. You may as well be prepared for it, right? Hmm, getting an upgrade. That's nice. Yeah. So anyway, I just thought I'd ramble on pseudo-philosophically about my thoughts on life, the universe, and everything, as it were. What is that that we picked up? Hey, it's iron ore. Nice. While sitting here making a new world, making a new start, making a fresh start, an analogous fresh start, much like the one that I've given myself in life. Oh, there's some more iron ore. You never know what you're going to find. Even when it seems that you've been betrayed on the one hand, there's always something new, ready, waiting to take the place of what was le what was coming before. There's no point wanting things to be the same again, because they never will be, you know? All you can do is move onwards and outwards and change and adapt yourself. That's what we were designed to do. That's why humans exist. That's why we're successful as a species. Am I going to fall down two steps here? Yeah, I am. Because we change. Because we're not content to stay still. And because when we do stay still, that's it. You know, we're done. Now, I guess I should talk about the channel a little bit. As you can see, I've gotten back into Dragon Age Origins in a big way. I've got uh, a couple more episodes ready for you. That should be going out fairly soon. Uh, if you haven't seen the Banana Ale Cart collaboration that I did with Stefan and, uh, Stephen and uh, the Dugum, you should check it out. We had a lot of fun making it, and I think you'll have fun uh, watching it as well. I had a good time with those guys. And, you know, it's always nice to make new friends in unexpected places. In this case, on YouTube. And, uh, you know, I've made a lot of uh, good good, uh, good friends here. I've met a lot of interesting people. People who have a lot, uh, a lot to say. People who are doing really interesting stuff with their lives. On YouTube, either through the partner program or just on their own. Looks like I need some more torches. Good. Oh, do I hear a skeleton? I think I do. Alright, looks like we're stuck here for a second. You know, confrontation isn't something that you can avoid in life. So it may as well be something that you embrace. This confrontation coming up is going to be a difficult one. But all confrontations worth having are... Oh, I see there's some items down there that used to be mine. That's okay. That just means that we will be able to reclaim them, ideally. And maybe we'll make a new friend along the way. Oh, I should have brought a shovel. See? Wasn't prepared. that skeleton. Hello? Probably not. I imagine it's despawned by now. We've been rambling along for quite a while. 
Yeah, no sign of my stuff, unfortunately. That's all right. Sometimes life deals you a bad hand, and you lose everything. And at that point, whoa, your only option <coughs> is to start over. <laughs> See you next time, class.